internet people welcome to vlogtober day 22 where i'm challenging myself to sew for one hour a day and bringing you along for the journey are you sick of hearing that intro yet i kind of feel like a robot when i say it <laughs> but i'm here with my peppermint peplum top and i'm here with the fabric for my peppermint peplum top my Halloween fabric. And I'm just getting ready to cut it out now. I brought it over to this side of the kitchen because the length of fabric that I have actually fits perfectly between um, the end of the counter and the stove here. So it kind of fits almost perfectly there. And yesterday I mentioned that I noticed when I was getting the fabric ready to cut that it was printed off grain and I messaged the company and it seems like it was kind of a fluke with their printing um, but I decided that I don't want to waste the fabric I already have it and I want to just go ahead and use it it's not that off grain I mean when you look at the selvage edges and then you look at the design it kind of skews away from the selvage maybe like inch and a half maybe two I don't know if it's quite two inches, but it's just kind of slightly skews off. And, you know, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna cut it out on grain, on the grain of the fabric, and just ignore the fact that the, fa the design is gonna maybe skew. I don't think you'll be able to notice it that much when you're wearing it or when I'm wearing it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. I don't wanna waste the fabric. I already have it, um, and I really wanna wear it. I think it's gonna be really cute, so. We're gonna go ahead and cut it out. I brought the fabric over here because um, with the skewing and with the fact that I lengthened the pattern pieces, I'm running a little short on fabric. Um, I lengthened the top, the front and the back by about four inches. So I'm running a little short on fabric. So I want to make sure I lay it out just perfectly so I don't mess it up and run out of fabric and we just, we don't need that kind of complication at this point. So I brought it over here to lay it out. It's still not quite right. So I think actually I'm gonna have to take it to the floor and I really don't like cutting on the floor. It's like so bad for my back, but I'm gonna lay it on the floor and I wanna just make sure everything is perfectly laid out and the fabric is perfectly aligned so I don't mess anything up. One slightly annoying thing about this pattern are the binding pieces. They're cut on the bias, of course, and they just take up so much fabric across I mean, look how long this neckband binding is. So you have to like lay it out so that it fits on the bias, on the fabric. And you know, that just takes up a lot of fabric. It seems slightly wasteful. And I know there are other ways to do it. You could piece it out. You could probably just maybe use regular bias binding. I could use another fabric. There are other options, but as is, this is how the pattern is meant to be cut out. But we're just gonna do it uh, as is and I think we should be okay. I was thinking I might actually um, take this neckband piece and uh, looks like you can fold it in half. And so I was thinking, what if I cut it out on a fold on the bias? Like when I'm done cutting out everything else, fold, if I can find a length of fabric that folds on the bias and then cut it out. Anyways, we'll see. So I'm gonna take it to the floor and I'll see you there. Welcome to the floor. So I changed because I didn't want to crawl around on the floor in my Zadie jumpsuit. I spent too much money on that linen, <laughs> so I changed. Um, you know, it's funny, when I named my channel Wandering Bobbin, Wandering was going to refer more to travel, um, but then COVID happened, so there hasn't been a lot of traveling happening. And now sometimes when I think about my name, Wandering Bobbin, I think about bobbins that roll across the floor, you know, when they fall off the sewing table and they kind of have a mind of their own and roll, roll away. So this is feeling very on brand. I feel like a wandering bobbin rolling around the floor. But anyways, um, let's focus here. So I've very carefully laid out everything here. Um, I haven't been able to get the neck binding on the fabric in any way um, where it fits. So I'm going to just cut this all out and then see, hope, cross my fingers that I can piece together a neck binding from the leftovers. So, okay, you can't even see me. <laughs> so anyways, 
Um, so that's the plan. So I'm going to uh, get started cutting this out carefully. This rayon fabric is very shifty, so that's been fun. And the whole off grain design is kind of throwing me, I mean, I don't, it's kind of a weird bit optical. It's an optical confusing, it's confusing optically. Anyways, so I'm gonna cut this out before my cat wakes up and decides that like this is where he wants to be. So let's cut. I'm done, I did it, I cut it out. And I am so glad that's over. You guys, I, I like totally forgot how difficult it is to cut out rayon. It's so shifty. The whole time I was just battling it basically, battling the rayon, battling the grain line, trying to not look at the design, the line of the design. Um, I mean, cause you can see like the cats are in a line but that's not the grain line. So anyways, I was battling the lines, crawling around on the floor. I should definitely go back and look at my um, heart rate on my Fitbit because I definitely got a little sweaty. So, I mean, that's good. I guess I got a workout in. I was shooing the cat away the whole time. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that was a very messy process and I was so focused that I didn't really film much of it. And I don't know, you probably don't even really want or need to see that kind of thing. You probably have your own cutting out struggles to contend with, let alone watching someone else's, someone else struggle to cut out, crawling around on the floor next to the cat food bowl. Anyways, it's best left in the past. So it's cut out, it's done now. We're gonna leave that in the past. It's a means to an end. And now we get to finally, finally cut it out. I cut, oh my, cut it out. We get to finally start sewing it. I'm really, really excited because I love this print. I think it's so cute and my cat is gray, but the silhouette kind of does remind me of him. So I'm very excited to start actually cutting it. It's Friday and it's 4.45, so I think we're gonna leave it there. That definitely took me more than an hour, so I'm gonna call it good for today. I kinda wanna go binge watch some Friday shows. So I'm gonna wrap up this video here. It's probably not the most exciting Vlogtober episode, but thank you so much for joining me on the struggle bus today. Uh, why don't you let me know some of your cutting out struggles? What has been the most difficult thing that you've ever cut out? I would love to commiserate with you. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys in the next one.